What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 here bringing us some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. Yeah, Hopefully, you guys enjoyed yeah. because in this gameplay, I managed to get all my kill streaks. And by the way, it was kind of difficult to find a match in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare so I can practice for Black Ops 3 because, you know, I believe Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is already dead at this point. I tried to look for a ground war match, and I'm telling you, it takes like around 9 minutes to 10 minutes to actually find a game. So at this point, I believe Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is already dead. Unless you're like a hardcore fan, then you won't believe me. You'll probably leave a dislike on my video but anyways you know i believe call of duty advanced warfare is dead because the only thing you can play at this point is tdm not everybody wants to play that kind of game mode everybody wants to play some kill confirm domination you know mix it up but you really can't get none of those because nobody's playing those game modes so really you gotta think about it cod cod advanced warfare is already dead at this point so anyways um moving on to the main topic black ops 3 i've been practicing lately and I jumped into TDM lately and um, you know I'm trying to get the feel of Black Ops 3 because I know Black Ops 3 this year is gonna be slow paced if you guys look at the perks if you guys also look at the way people are running around in those uh, gameplays of Black Ops 3 they're running super slow so I believe it's gonna be like a Mono Warfare 3 clone but just with jetpacks so um, because I know the things about Modern Warfare 3 everything was slow paced there was no lightweight there was only marathon I believe or maybe not even marathon so yeah really you're not gonna be running fast out there you can actually take your time to actually to advance to a certain location of the map so really is everything's gonna be slow paced so in order for me to practice like that I gotta add myself you know I gotta take away most of my uh, exo overclass from all my class setups or maybe just create more classes along the way and just you know take away the x overclocks and replace it with something else I, so i did that i took away the lightweight also from several of my oh. classes so i can like kind of get the feeling too so that's one way you can actually practice with black ops 3 and then to add extra damage to it i'm actually practicing with an lmg so i can like be a little bit more stationary a little bit more patience for enemies to pass by because i i noticed something called the event to offer everybody's jumping around like crazy everybody's rushing their asses across the field and i'm noticing something I can just stay stationary or just like proceed slowly and I'm still gonna get all them kills and you can pretty much see that from this gameplay I'm pretty much kind of patient with my shots so um this is the, like the best way to practice for Black Ops 3 but another thing that I noticed with Black Ops 3 is that most of the maps are small corridors they have like buildings all over the place you can actually um, maybe like every single part of the map is like 10 feet in like in in pathways that's how you know narrow they are so then they don't really have big hallways you can pretty much have yourself face an enemy like 1v1 like more than half of the time so I don't know I really need a stage with a lot of complicated paths so I can like kind of practice that way so I can like uh, also practice with some of my SMGs without the extra overclocks and the lightweight you know attachments so um, yeah that that is the best way to practice for Black Ops 3 if you're practicing for now with extra overclocks and lightweight that is not the correct way just go back into those games of Black Ops 3 and you know what I'm talking about you can actually have to play with slow characters so um so yeah you know black ops 3 is around the corner one week and a half to go and um the best thing i can do is just this you know some tdm and the melees and you know there's really nothing else i can do i really wish i could play some ground war but you know you're not gonna find a match try to go right now on your xbox one or your, or your ps4 or your xbox 360s or ps3s try to yourself to look for a for a ground war match you're not gonna find anything it's only tdm it's kind of boring so yeah Kind of feel fat, kind of feel bad for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because I know back in my Mono Warfare three days and Black Ops one days there were still games in Ground War like 24/7 before the next Call of Duty release. It was just it was just super insane. I love those kind of times. That's why I miss like most of my times back then because you know it was all year round and everybody was super competitive until the next game. It was it was a total tradition back in the day. I miss my old school days. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys started off on Black Ops 2 and were super excited for that game. So I kind of feel bad for you guys. I really wish that most of you guys would have started off in Modern Warfare 3 so you guys can know the feeling of the real tradition of, you know, Call of Duty. So anyways, um, yeah, hopefully you guys understood what I said. You know, Black Ops 3, the only best way to practice for that game. And for the beta, 
is to actually have slow classes that allows you to advance slowly and strategically around the maps and also you must practice in tight corridors i know in this map they have open spots like all over the goddamn map so this is like the bad way to actually practice so i'm gonna try to get uh in some you know some complicated pathways map so i can like have the full feel of black ops 3. so that is it leave a like if you guys want to more want to hear more uh, details about black ops 3 let me know in the comment section and also subscribe for more Oh, I'm going to